boy, this is it. Our first look at Steel Division 2. Pinto is joining me, defending as the Germans in this Eastern Front battle. Hello again, friends and fans. Raptor here again. Steel Division 2, the beta has begun, and we're going to be attacking. Pinto's defending the uh, positions in front of me in gray or blue, and I'll be attacking as the Soviets in red. So if you want to see more of this one, make sure you go ahead and click or tap that like button. We'll be mixing it up, defending as, um, I guess, I'll defend as the Germans and as the Soviets, and we'll play against the AI, see how that performs, and we'll try other maps as well. Things are limited here in the beta, and we're playing before many people have access, so, um, you know, there's not too many, uh, I guess, multiplayer games to be had so we'll play against each other the AI and so much more Pinto go ahead and set up your defenses remember now you can build uh, gun uh, pits so that way you can uh, basically take control of a high ground with a pack 40 or a machine gun pit or a trench or barbed wire go ahead and set that up that does take some time this is Pinto's first game and this is my first game as attacking as the Soviets so I've had a little bit of practice but mostly we've been playing mo um, mostly as the uh, uh, Steel Division 1 against the AI. One thing I want to point up out here right away too, by the way, is that there's uh, new options including minimum accuracy uh, to uh, fire while holding fire, so basically you can improve your uh, unit's accuracy and penetration by doing that, as well as options to uh, switch over to like RTS or NATO controls. So for those of you uh, who are uh, icon-wise more familiar with uh, the classical RTS markers for Steel Division, those will be there, or you can switch over to NATO, and then options to uh, change a lot of things related to the uh, uh, symbols, how they pop up, and then also the front line where you can see the opponent and lots of stuff like that. Very simple changes that I think make all the difference. So, oh, how you doing, Pinto? I just wish you could see the grin on my face right now. Oh, really? Pinto's oh, playing as the 5th yeah. Panzer Division. <laughs> I'm playing as the uh, Soviet 2nd uh, Guard uh, Tienke Corpus Tank Corps. So we'll see exactly how it goes. So Pinto has access to Tigers, Flak 88s, Mortars, uh, Machine Gun Pits, etc., etc. I have access to T-34, 85, 76s, and some Command Units, too. And then also, Pinto, uh, you, well, you made your own deck. This is a pre-made deck I'm going with that just started with because I really don't know what I'm doing yet as the Soviets. And uh, we'll see how it all goes. So are you ready, my man? Are you getting ready, at least? It's going to be a, a slow show because... Uh, it's his first game, so I'm trying to buy him some time. So he has. I don't want to push you into like getting everything ready right away. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm giving you some time to do your thing. So. Oh, you can already hear the the vehicle noises. So you can, can hear I the ask engines you running. Yep. They were for gentlemen's agreement. All right. <laughs> um, let's na can we narrow the map a little bit? No. You have to defend the whole sector. <laughs> no! Well, to, to be fair, the, the, so the, the very important positions you have to defend are, do you see those gray circles in certain areas? That's that was what I was going to ask. Yeah, so those are hard points that I have to capture in order to push the line. So I have to attack those no matter what. So essentially it's like a combination. When we play Men of War Assaults go up, I have to capture the zone in order to push the line. I can't just like have all my troops flank left and then just get behind them. I actually have to push an entire line forward. I'm pushing the front. So in order to please Daddy Stalin, I have to push those uh, lines like that I have to do it that way otherwise I can't push the line and uh, I really like food and eating Pinto so I'm gonna go ahead and do what I'm told how about you I mean the Fuhrer does forgive I think I hope maybe uh, yeah I don't I don't think so. I mean we'll see how that goes <laughs> oh I also have aircraft too at my disposal um, the Normandy Yak 1B Normandy and the U2 uh, and then IL-2 and the, uh, ooh, the PE-2. Oh, wow, I haven't even used any of these before. It's got a fab bomb on it, though. Fab 100. Oh, I also have artillery access. Oh, and also the SU-76 has the ability to fire as an artillery unit this time around. And also uh, the, the uh, Russians have this really cool motorcycle mortar. So essentially uh, you can motorcycle forward. The back end of the mortar will flip down. You can fire it as a mortar and then go on the move again. And also Katusha's Pinto, so screw you. It's going to be awesome. Oh, I'm, I'm wrecked. All right, yeah. So we've done a lot of explaining. I hope you, I've given you plenty of time to just just be ready. Um, and notice uh, there might still be a glitch where you have to put your units into the into the pit at the start. You might have to give them orders just to move to it, which is just, you know, beta-level beta stuff. We, we've been through this before. Everything's not final. It is beta. So things are subject to change. Uh, there's no good indicator of a unit being a recon unit. I wish there was binoculars next to those units. Hard In to all tell. honesty? Yeah. What I'm what I'm realizing is we're gonna need like the setups are just gonna be a lot longer now, which is not a bad thing, but like trying to set up defenses. Pinto. Yes. There's a unit in here called the GAZ AAA Maxim 4M. Oh no! Do you no. know what that is? 
Do you know what no, that is? No, no, yeah. I quit. I quit. That is the gangster no. truck, baby. Wow. The gangster truck is in here. Get rolled on, son. Oh. All right. Okay. Well, well I'm I ready surrender. when you are. Uh, keep in mind, you can uh, place orders beforehand. I'm just gonna. I mean, I'm just gonna order mine at the start. I'm. I'm moving forward, so I don't really have much in terms of orders. But keep in mind, there are swamps, so those are kind of like impassable areas where we can clearly fire at each other, but we really can't pass through them. And then, of course. Uh, Putting your units on high ground gives you a good line of sight on the battlefield. And interestingly enough, I'm attacking, but I seem to have some high ground here to attack with. Uh, okay. All right, you ready? Uh, uno. Uno momento, por favor. All right, no problem. I don't speak much German, but I think I understood that. Actually, Raptor, that's French. Oh, okay, thank you. Thank you. Again, guys, if you're excited for Steel Division 2's release and uh, are getting the beta today or you want into the beta, make sure you click or tap that like button to show your support for this. 99% of people don't do that, so to the one percenters, thank you very much for showing your support. Been a longtime fan of Eugen Systems uh, War Game series and then into Steel Division, where Steel Division 2 honestly seems like a really nice improvement. Again, we can just take a look around and, and see how beautifully detailed everything is from villages to roadways you know they're they're nicely curved around mountains and everything like that and then there's you know work camps and uh seems to be a weird looking thing where they grow food and uh, as a soviet i don't know what pff, weird i have what, no idea what that food? is yeah i know um but again very detailed maps and and they're, they're, you know we're not talking about like a it used to look like a war game tabletop game, but now it doesn't. All right, we need to stop babbling, Pinto. I can only give you a few more seconds, so I'm launching okay, battle I'm now. You ready? Okay, let's begin. Oh, I've never heard the Russian voice actors before. Very nice. The Russians are all new because the Germans were already pre-acted out before. Oh, that's nice. All right, let's get some of these units rolling right. Okay, the Soviet convoy is rolling out. What is that? Is that a supply truck? No. Oh, nice. Is that a... Oh, wow, he's got a Yushchenko on. Nice. I wonder if that's a sniper on the group. Very nicely detailed oh, with the infantry. So. All right, so those... Oh, wait, that an objective all the way up there? Yeah, so at the start, you're going to lose a few objectives where you could nowhere near start it. That's just to yeah. bend the line, but uh, so don't worry about that. I, they need to, I would like to see them go in and maybe they'll darken the objectives a little bit. Yeah, it like is hard this to map, tell. Is the Germans with the with it being gray, whether or not it's neutral or held by the enemy? So I agree with you there. All right, Soviet tanks are approaching Pinto's lines. He does not see the massive flank taking place. Just kidding. It's your first time, dude. Any anything you do wrong should be forgiven. It, it is literally your first game. However, I'm assuming you have a hilltop really heavily defended somewhere. Maybe. I wonder what terrain my tanks can get through. Oh, I just saw that. Wow, 24-man squad? Oh, that's two 12-man squads. That's right, they stack if you if you zoom out far enough, it'll uh, it'll stack everything on top of each other, and if you zoom in, it'll show it separately. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, I was like, a 24-man squad? That seems crazy, but that's two 12-mans. Big ol' crazy! Oh, well, finally a first sight of Pinto. Flak 88 spotted. Russian unit's already engaging that. Ooh, incoming 88! Oh, direct hit! Driver killed, 27 seconds. Wait, you're within range? Oh, yeah. No, how? Um, I don't know. <laughs> you didn't see me in time. Oh, I forgot to use the efficient shot. Oh, that... See, that would have been the perfect time to use that. Uh, if you press I, too, you can bring up a permanent view of the... Uh, Unit information if you're curious about range. And then well, don't forget to see Charlie. To, uh, oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, uh, unit line of sight, etc., etc. You're losing quite a few objectives, but again, that's fine. It's our first time, it's okay. There's a lot to learn about. Attacking is much more difficult than defending, too, by the way, so you're giving me an easy time. <laughs> Thanks. Well, I don't mean it to be rude. I mean it to uh, say, like, few... attacking is hard, so. You know. I have a few tricks up my sleeve. 
Well, you're not going to have much of a shirt left when I pull it off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm just going to be... You're going to be naked. Like, you're not going to have any defenses. Even some of the tanks have things written on them from time to time. That's pretty cool. Or at least the Soviets one will. This game is much more dirty. It's gritty, more dirty, more muddy uh, than its predecessor. Uh, and, I, and I really like that. I mean that with like the most uh, positive of words. Yeah, like all the vehicles look very yeah, new in the last one. Is that, is that what you're kind of talking about? Yeah, I mean, you know, with, with Normandy, it was like the troops just landed. They were in combat for maybe a few days or something. They weren't really as... I mean, sure, there was mud and stuff, but they had a fresh cone of paint on them. That's where the Soviet ones just seemed like they'd been through battle after battle after battle. Oh, actually. I wonder if Soviet units can get on tanks. Oh, finally a machine gun position. Finally engaging with his tanks looks like to be Panther IV, half track, and perhaps a Tiger in the back. Another Panzer IV. Boris, ложись! Оружие на изготовку! Стрелки готовы! Boris, ложись! Ah, there you go. T-34-76 destroyed finally. No order for that. He's already said to be artillery mode units. Artillery very effective on that machine gun nest. There we go. All right, we're only in phase A, by the way. So if you're unfamiliar with uh, Steel Division, we get multiple phases. In other words, as the battle goes on, we get access to many more units and uh, more skilled units and more expensive units, more heavily armored units as the battle rages. Clever Pinto coming up from behind with Panzer Grenadiers. Yeah. Oh, and a unit surrendered. Very good. Oh, I like the new uh, combat look for uh, troops. Oh, buildings. yeah. The troops actually have to battle it out in the buildings now. Pinto will likely win that. Superior numbers and training. Alright, phase A. Still a few minutes left. Ah, 
процессов. Нужна артподдержка. Вижу противника. Вытащите меня отсюда. Hey, you're trying to remember my pipe wire. That's not nice. Yeah, does that do damage? Does it actually destroy? It doesn't look like it. Oh, you're just being a pain in the ass now. Oh, you don't need... <clears throat> oh, no, I'll, sh I'll show you pain in the ass in a second. You're just coming up from behind with the uh, troops now. Глядеть в оба! Есть приказ, товарищ. Разворачиваю воздушную оборону. Alright, these units are just awesome though. This is great to play so far. You're uh, inflicting quite a few losses on me. Oh wow, that unit actually evacuated, but they were destroyed. Чертова американская радиостанция не хочет работать. На позиции! Panther 4 knocked out there. Это Сергей. Цель замечена. В нас попали. Зенитка готова. So I'm planning my attack based off of where Pinto's defenses are, or where the uh, zones that I have to capture is. Whether or not his units are there, I don't really care. It's my task to capture. Жду ваших указаний. Готовьтесь, мы выезжаем. Вставай, страна огромная. Отделение ждет команды. Назад, водитель! Mm, the evacuation has to count down too. That's helpful. В нас попали. I see you trying to rush me with that T-34. Назад! Назад! I'm trying to do that in a few places. Вижу противника. Разговорчики в строю. Приготовьтесь к атаке. Things are starting to get heated up now. I'm starting to get access to better units. Probably die, so I'll have to fire over there too. Action going on here. Oh wow, <clears throat> that's a lot of air. Or, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I can't speak. Oh, you're bringing in some serious firepower. Little reinforcement wave. Yeah. You haven't seen the half of it actually. I wouldn't doubt that. It's about to get a lot worse. Это Сергей. Цель замечена. Слушай. Приготовьтесь к атаке. 
Борис, ложись! Хорошее попадание. Это Сергей, цель замечена. Разговорчики в строю. Здесь и вылетите. Свод построен и ждет приказа. Wait, what? What? Does it not auto drop anymore? Drop what? Like my bomber didn't auto drop. I don't know. Like uh, because in the first seal division, if you, even if you lost sight, it still dropped the bombs. And that could have changed. Это Сергей, цель замечена. Вытащите меня отсюда. Well, you've got a really Сделали. good cover of the open ground. Борис, ложись. We're neck and neck right now. Готов нанести удар. Yeah, I think you can win by inflicting a lot of casualties, law. And I can win by taking ground. And I'm pretty much about to do that. Oh, the rockets are beautiful. No, don't do it, 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 don't do it. Uh, you had to lose one. Yeah, you got a lot of tigers out there. Боеприпасов больше нет. Вижу противника. Пронесло. Вставай, страна огромная. Черт побери, я right. сухой. Лечу обратно. Хорошее попадание. Objective lost. Probably here. Точно. В нас попали. Quite a lot of casualties here. No surprise near a spawn. Okay, we're moving into the farmhouse now. That's what that was. There's food there. Found it. You can't keep that from me. Yeah, my troops gotta get incredibly close to use AT weapons. Oh, they're grenade. Are they AT grenades? Units are marked as they have AT weapons. Oh, there they go. Oh, they're Molotovs or some damn thing. Oh, damn. Yeah, what the heck? Sanitar. I perhaps okay. you have to have visual sight, I don't know. Yeah, but <clears throat> back in uh, the original Steel Division, it was, uh, you know, if you lost sight, it would still drop. Times change. I'd like to see that come back in the future. Boris, 
Осторожнее, враг рядом. Понял. Найти и уничтожить. А -а -а, зацепили! И ждет приказа. Огонь! Раздавим их! В нас попали! Alright, well the next phase is really gonna get you. You're not gonna like what's gonna happen, Pinto. I don't think I, I don't like what's happening now. You're holding very well though, I must say. You're recapturing positions that you're losing, you're making things difficult. You're doing things very well. Вперед, хлопцы! Жду приказов. Это Сергей. Цель замечена. 24 seconds. Fuck you bad. Ooh, Pinto's entered the minor which is kind of cool, like instead of randomly guessing where to push a line, you actually have a tactic, like a something you can do. Alright, well, Pinto GG, as I now have access to T90s. Борис, ложись! Actually... Зацепили! This is shot. Управление. Я готов к атаке. Calling up anti aircraft. Борис, ложись. Well, some of these planes can stay up for quite a while. Oh, yeah. There they go. Good boys. God damn. Those are firing like 30 millimeters at you. Wow. Yeah, they're no joke. Alright, the pain is really coming in now in the form of T-34-85s, Pinto. Every tree has three or four hiding behind it. Just so you're aware. Awesome. Вытащите меня отсюда! I've got so many planes too that I can scroll down. I think tanks should be able to get through there, I don't know. Artillery actually did something good there, nice. Pinto, you're holding incredibly well. Please, please know that you're doing a very good job. I don't think Thank this. Is, I don't think this is very easy to uh, to defend, nor is it very easy to attack. And for your first game, dude, I gotta give you a round of applause. Like you uh -huh. were, you're being a pain in the ass. You're counterattacking. You're you were getting behind. I honestly thought this would be no disrespect, a lot easier because one, it was your first time, and two, <laughs> yeah. Um, and I did throw this stick together like really fast. That's true. Yeah. I mean, we don't know what we're doing, but I mean, this is great. Uh, again, the map looking just really beautiful. The carcasses of tanks sitting around after being destroyed. Pinter, uh, Pinto's counterattacking positions. A minor defeat in a minute. If he doesn't counterattack or take oh, positions. Oh crap! I didn't see that. You, yeah, you do need a counterattack. You will need to take positions. I would recommend to try to take uh, the closest one, wherever it is. Really 
The nice thing is the fighters can do a lot of damage too. Like they got 20 and 30 millimeters that can come in and shred uh, gun crews. The Panther G for Pinto coming out. You, Pinto, the Soviets really seem to have a lot of great aircraft yeah. that are not to be underestimated. <laughs> hey, screw you. Screw your artillery. <laughs> Nobody likes you. Ju 87 D3 coming in. Bomber going out. I'm holding apparently 90% of the objectives, though I feel like I could be doing way better in capturing the uh, forest. Actually, there's not too much of an objectives left, to be honest. I'm 30 seconds, seconds away. Counterattacking with infantry in the forest yet again, dude. You're doing all the right moves. I honestly think for you know even for a new player, it's quite simple to you know note the objectives of go capture flag, but the tactics to get it done are much different. Yes. Or much more. But as we play more, we'll understand the true importance of gun pits and you know what tactics work and don't. Pinto turning it around. Pinto has a pioneer has surrender. Oh, I thought it said Pinto surrender. I was like, what? He's still here. Pinto having fighter planes coming in. Is that it? Yep. A minor victory. Wow. It uh, all that fight only got a minor victory, Pinto. You should be very proud of yourself. That was I, I'm really, honestly, I am really happy. I think you should be. And that that map, um, I, I was kind of surprised. Uh, the barbed wire really didn't seem to do as much as I was expecting. Those didn't MG pits, holy crap! Those MG pits. Uh, I know one pretty much locked you down for a few minutes at the okay. beginning on the, uh, I think, your right side. Yeah, there was, yep, on the right side behind the village, there was a fantastic uh, position. I did, I, did I destroy it? Because I was hitting yeah, with artillery. Yeah, Okay. They're very easy to destroy so with artillery, much. but you do need to find out where they are and get close to get pin, pinpoint accuracy on those things to make sure you can push forward. Especially if there's a lot of defenses spread out, you don't want to spend all your time there. Well, there you go. That's our first look then. A minor victory for me. A total victory for all. Steel Division beta finally here. I think we need to play this some more, Pinto. What do you think, my man? Oh, heck yes. I like the uh, I like the graphics. I like the, the vehicle looks. The sounds are great. The tactics are cool. I like the additional to the front lines. Really feels a little more solid. A lot of things more refined. Uh, definitely not a reskin. Definitely not uh, just you know thrown together. It's a lot of time and effort went into this one, I think, to really refine a few things that players really enjoyed. And uh, I like the fact that they're really trying to put in a lot of work historically. Holy though not perfect. crap. What? Your losses? One, two, three, four, five, six. My tiger got six T-34 kills. I wonder how many. Oh, really? Oh, you got a tiger that got six T-34 kills? That sounds about right. Oh, yeah, there it yeah. is. Tiger E. Of and then the Panzer IV got Look at that. two T-34s. Points or not? Uh, uh, they don't even tell you the numbers here because it doesn't matter. The point is yeah. to capture. But uh, P Pinto's kills, uh, 2190, so beating, absolutely destroying me during a defense, which you know makes sense. But uh, minor, minor defeat, minor victory. Not bad, dude, for our first time. Good job. Yeah. All right. We'll see you all next time. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.